Hello you guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm getting ready on Wednesday. I am going to New York for the very first time. I am so excited. I don't even know how to act. I packed so many outfits. I literally bought the base luggage because I was like, I need to have extra room so when I go shopping, I need to pack all the outfits even though I probably won't wear all of them. I am just so excited. Fashion has like just been my thing for life and I've always just been obsessed with New York City and like going to New York and it's finally happening and I'm going with a brand. I'm going with Macy's which is just so, so exciting. I literally cannot wait. Like I feel like I'm on cloud nine and I'm just so thankful that I have this opportunity. They're covering a lot of it which I'm really excited about but for Mother's Day, my sister and I decided it would be really fun to get my mom a ticket as well so that she can spend the weekend there with me. So Wednesday through Friday, I'll be working with the brand and then Friday through Sunday, my mom and are just gonna like hang out all weekend just enjoy the time there together and i'm so excited because i feel like growing up me and my sister were always like my mom has done so much for us so we felt like it's finally time to repay her and like give her the travels and do a lot of the stuff that we've always wanted to do for her so i'm just so excited that her and i are finally getting this moment of like being able to really be like the girly girls that we are and explore the city so i am so so pumped and anytime i tell anyone that i have never been in new york they're like in literal shock because I love fashion and like that is my personality that is me but i am pumped and i thought it would be so fun today to do like a kind of like a pack with me video and show you guys some of the outfits that i'm packing the new luggage from base i just got and yeah kind of take you along with the day so we're just gonna go with it my recent obsession this is not the best spot because the lighting is behind me but anyways we're gonna move along with it i feel like everyone and their mom lately has been obsessed with the bell pepper cucumber rachel Rachel Kirkano salad and I can fully admit I am obsessed. I am one of those people. I absolutely have always loved like bell peppers and cucumbers. That has always been like my go-to snack and I don't know why I never thought to combine them and add like basically the mixture that she talks about. So now I literally eat it every single day and usually throughout the day when I'm like working and getting stuff done, I forget to eat all the time. It's actually really not good. Um, and couldn't I went to the grocery store and I was like, ah, I don't know if I should get like set, like the bell peppers or the cucumbers because I don't know where we were, but I was like, it's a little expensive for that when I get somewhere else. And Cody's like, no, you're getting them. I don't care how much it costs. You're going to get that because you always forget to eat. And like, that is the one thing that you always eat multiple times a day. So just get it. And I was like, he is so right. But you guys, the chili onion crunch from Trader Joe's, that's like a big part of the recipe, has been sold out in Trader Joe's apparently everywhere, like since this has gone viral on TikTok. And I went in Trader Joe's the other day to the Buckhead location. And the lady there was like, we're out of stock in them, but we just had a lady return one because the seal was broken but she goes let me check for you and see if we have any coming she goes and checks and they had just gotten two full boxes in and I was like it is my lucky day so I grabbed this and I was like so happy because that's the only thing I went in the store for and Cody's like you know what why don't you go back and grab another one like just so you have two because you eat this salad so so much and I was like you know what you're right so I grabbed two of these and I'm really excited because I've never used it with this specific one that the recipe calls for. I got one um, just at um, Publix, but it wasn't that brand that she tells you to use in the actual recipe itself. So I'm excited to try that flavor, but I love me a good like bell pepper, cucumber salad and any type of like ginger dressing. Oh my gosh, so good. Literally my favorite. <laughs> you guys i my mouth is literally watering looking at this let's try her out i also like to add carrots to mine just because like if i'm gonna eat vegetables might as well add some more because why not mm. that is so good absolutely amazing i feel like i could even add a little more of like a chili crunch because i like mine spicy but this is like literally one of the best most healthy snacks i have ever seen on TikTok, so I am obsessed with it. It is so, so good. But anyways, what you guys are actually here for, I'm just gonna finish eating this and then we will get into the New York packing vlog. 
Okay, you guys, I've kind of laid out everything that I think I'm gonna wear. It looks crazy. This room is a disaster. I'm that person. The room's just a disaster the day before leaving. And before I had like a clothing rack when I lived at home, but we just don't have space in our apartment. So I'm thinking about doing like a denim on denim moment with this corset, which I'm obsessed with, with Zara jeans and then the Zara corset. But I just don't know how that's gonna look. So we're gonna try that on. I have this metallic bag that I have linked on my Amazon storefront. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do that a lot this week. I think I'm gonna pair that with the denim on denim, another look I have. And then I think I'm also gonna do, so this is just like a cargo white skirt um, with like a little vest and then like a Skims bralette or maybe like this bralette. I have to try it on and see what looks the best. And I think we're gonna go silver, maybe black with this bag and then I have like a cargo moment with a mini cargo skirt and then like a leather corset top and then like high socks but I'm gonna scrunch them with this hat I'm thinking I'm gonna do these shoes that I just bought in Oregon to wear with them or I'm gonna do these blazers but I haven't decided yet so we're gonna try it on and see I think I'm gonna wear this but I can't decide because I'm also going to Beyonce in August so I'm like do I save this for Beyonce I don't know and then over here, I obviously have two pairs of pajamas because I can't decide if I want to wear that as a pair of pajamas or not. And then I've literally, you guys, had this dress that I am obsessed with since New Year's. Like, it has feathers on the bottom. Literally the most stunning dress I've ever seen. One shoulder feather. Um, and I was thinking of pairing it with the Steve Madden heels. I feel like red bottoms would just be too much. But also, it's New York, so I feel like you can do that. But I think I'm going to do this for just, like, a moment um, just a picture to have because it's New York and why not? I've had this since New Year's. It needs to get a photo of some sort. It's literally the cutest. I'm obsessed with that dress. I was gonna hopefully wear it for New Year's, but I didn't really do much on New Year's, so I didn't end up wearing it, but I'm obsessed with that dress. And then obviously I'm gonna do just like my basic Skims dress moment because I feel like this would be really good for just like walking around, shopping, whatever, with my Steve Madden heels, these black, I mean not Steve Madden, these Steve Madden sandals, and then so I also have this. This is like a like full mesh lace bodysuit that I got from Skims. And I was thinking about maybe wearing that to Beyonce, but I feel like I need to wear this in New York because it's just incredible. I've got I've had this for months also. It looks like pantyhose, but like for your full body. I need to show you guys when I put it on, but I got some Skims boy shorts so that I could wear under it so I don't feel totally naked. And I was thinking about doing a blazer over it, but we're gonna see, we're gonna play around with it. And then I have, obviously I have to bring one bathing suit. Workout set from Amazon. That stuff needs to be hung up where the green is. And then I feel like the metallic pants just have to have another moment. I wore them to an event. They're the metallic pants, so I feel like they need more of a moment. So I think I'm gonna wear those in New York. But I'm gonna show you guys my first outfit that I've already put on. And I'm obsessed. I love this look. I think it's so chic. I think it's chef's kiss. I can't decide though if obviously I'm gonna be wearing sticky nips with this but i just feel like this is such a vibe and it's so cute i literally got these parachute pants from urban outfitters clearance for ten dollars now zara is selling a pair that looks almost identical for like 80 90 dollars which is insane so i'm glad i trusted my gut and got these top is zara these shoes are amazon linked on my spring and summer fashion storefront um glasses are fifth and ninth so i'm trying to decide if i want to do like a glasses moment with this but i also can't tell if it's like too much with the glasses like i honestly don't know because if not i was thinking i could do no glasses and then i could do a silver bag instead i really don't know i can't decide looks better because also i want to wear these earrings that i got from amazon also they're like one of the bottega dupes so it would be like these this but now i'm like is that just looks like way too much silver so i don't know i'm gonna have to play with it but i also feel like the glasses are a vibe y'all i don't know okay next outfit okay so this is the next outfit choice this is the zara cargo skirt skims bralette um this little like vest which is from shopworth collective and then i'm thinking i might do it with the blazers but i also can't decide if i want to be super minimal when it comes to packing and, like pair several outfits with the same shoes and do my new ones because i feel like they're a little more trendy and more new york I can't decide if I want to do those or these ones. And I also can't decide if I want to do like gold jewelry moment or 
maybe like a silver and do this it's like a double choker moment i feel like that could be really cute with this outfit also just imagining me with my hair and makeup done because it's a completely different person when that's done and then uh, this little bag i feel like this would be really cute and comfortable to like walk around and especially because it is hot there right now but i'm also thinking should i do like a cuter bralette so i'm gonna try on like two different other ones and see what they look like okay yeah you guys we can fully scratch the first option with the skims bralette because this bralette is from Scarlet Blue. It is so, so cute. And I love how the like tan in the bra ties into like this vest moment. And then with these shades, that is, I'm sorry. I literally look like a full on local New Yorker. And I, I'm obsessed with this look. This is, this is one of those outfits where you're like, this is me in an outfit. Like, I think this is so, so, so cute. I think I could do this for like a shopping day in Soho maybe. Or maybe, I don't know. All right, this is it. We're going to go with this bralette. But now let me try on the other shoes and see if we like that better. Okay, I got these in Oregon at the Nike Key Employee Outlet. And it's crazy because these were 40% off their regular price, which is just absolutely insane. And I'm obsessed with them. I think they're so retro and cute. Like, I feel like these are a pair of sneakers that I would want to pass down to my kids one day. But I don't think I love them with this outfit as much as I thought I would. I feel like they look kind of clunky. So I think we're gonna go with the original blazers and this bralette. And I think that's, she's cute, I like. Okay, this is the next outfit option. Mini cargo skirt with this cropped white top. And then just with this Siegelman stable hat. And then same with these retro sneakers. But now I'm trying to decide, do I love this? Or should we do blazers with should we do blazers with like scrunch socks? I feel like that could be really cute too. Maybe no hat. Let's play around with it. Okay, see now I changed my hats and the blue in the hat kind of matches the blue on the sneakers. So now I'm kind of like, wait, I kind of like this. I think this might be it. So let's see if we like it with the socks. If not, we're just gonna do this with the hat. Okay, I mean, I don't hate it with the socks. Not as cute as I thought it was gonna be though, so the socks are gonna be a no from me, but I think we're gonna do the four others hat and then this Amazon shirt and cargo skirt. Again, link to my Amazon storefront, which I'll have down in this description, but yeah, no socks. So originally this was the outfit I kind of envisioned. This is a like leather top from Amanda Uprichard, but I just, I'm not loving this right here right now. So I might bring it and still wear it because I think it still does look cute. I'm just not feeling 100% my tiny self today. So maybe, I don't know, because I feel like this also looks really cute with the shoes without the socks, just imagine without the socks. I still think it looks really cute. And then I thought like a really cute blazer on top could be really cute, but we shall see because let's check the weather. So it's 80 today in New York and it's supposed to be like in the seventies while I'm there. This is what I'm thinking since it's going to be like almost perfect temperature while we're there. So this is another option for New York. I just feel like she's a New York moment, but I'm also like, is this the one that I save for Beyonce because she's kind of giving Sasha fears. I just can't decide. I'm literally wearing um, sticky nips under this. So you can't like fully see through to all my business. And I also got these like little boy shorts um, from Skims so that again, you can't see all my business. But I still can't decide if I want to wear this in New York or if I want to save this for something else. I don't know. She's so cute. I feel like this would be a really cute look down there. I may pack it one piece of material, so it won't take a lot of room in my luggage. But I can't decide if I love it or not for New York specifically. I feel like it's one of the few places that it is socially acceptable to wear something like this. But I don't know, I can't decide. Like, do I throw a blazer over it? I also feel like it could be really chic. Like this full on gives me like a Kim K moment right here. Imagining my hair and makeup done. I feel like this would just eat, I can't decide. Now I'm also like, do I do it with the silver heels and then the silver earrings instead? We're gonna try it on. As much as I love this outfit and I wanna find any excuse to wear it, I don't know because I just texted my friend Chelsea who lives in New York and she's actually current on Bachelor of Paradise Canada. She lives in New York. I've been dying to get there so I can see her too. And she was like, you definitely don't need to wear that to dinner, but you could definitely wear that out clubbing because it's literally perfect, the most perfect outfit for that. And I'm like, 
I don't know if I plan on going clubbing. So I don't know whether to wear it or not, whether to pack it or not. I don't know. This one's up in the air. So this is a maybe. The blazer on top of it, I feel like that would be really cute for like a dinner or going out with your husband or boyfriend kind of date night. But he's not coming with me. And so maybe I'll save this for whenever we do that. But I don't know because if I did this with like a belt, tried and true forever go to will always be the skims dress i don't care what anyone says i will buy a million of these but the black just eats every single time i feel so confident in this dress so if you don't have it this is literally your sign to buy it i don't think i've gone on vacation since i've gotten this dress and not brought in it because it's just the perfect go-to piece because it's really comfy but it's still like very chic very form-fitting it's just it's literally perfect. It does everything that it needs to do. And then I'm going to wear um, these like Steve Madden slides, which are basically a dupe for, I think they're called the Kira Tory Burch sandal, but so many brands have these right now. I think maybe Louis Vuitton. I don't know. Somebody else has these, but these are a really perfect dupe. I'm obsessed with these sandals. I have these in the black and the white, but I think I'm going to do this with like gold earrings, gold accessories. So this is an easy yes. Now I'm also thinking I might do this like silver heart necklace, those same silver earrings that almost are like the Bottega dupe with this instead. And maybe mix up the gold and the silver. I'm not sure yet, but I think that's what I want to do because I've been dying to wear this necklace by Strung by Shra. I ordered some stuff off of Shopo. It was supposed to be delivered tomorrow, which was freaking me out because two of the outfits in here are ones that I need to wear for the special events that we're doing. And thank God they literally came in time. So I'm gonna open them, pray that they fit, and we're gonna see if we're gonna pack these two. This set, yes, yes, a million times yes. I am obsessed with it. It's like a, obviously another cargo skirt. And then it's like a matching set though. I love it because you could split these pieces up and do like a white tank top or white jeans, cargo skirt. This is adorable. And then also when you put on the shades like this, she's giving like chic Top Gun vibes. And I'm obsessed. This is gonna be perfect. You could also wear these with literally sneakers, sandals, whatever. This is a good, just like strolling through New York outfit, I feel like. So Macy's is having us at Soho House in New York and the color theme is like bright colors. So I think I'm gonna do this dress. I love the cutouts. I love the print. I love the color. And I was gonna do these shoes because we're also doing like a boat day on the Hampton River and I got the days confused and I thought these shoes would be really cute for the boat day, but this is not for the boat day. This is for Soho House. So now I'm thinking, should I do this? the metallic shoes with metallic earrings. Okay, so like I mentioned, we're doing Soho House and then we're also doing Hampton on the River Boat Day. And this is what I'm thinking I'm gonna wear for the boat day. They said to dress more of like a coastal grandmother style. So I thought this would be perfect. This is from Shopo. It's like this linen white dress. Just imagine it's steamed and then also these woven heels. That I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna do them with these earrings that I got from Zara. I don't know why the light looks so dark, but these are them. I'm obsessed. So cute. I think this outfit is gonna be absolutely perfect. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a bag with this. I feel like a bag could be cute. So we might do a bag. We shall see. Anyways, you guys, that is all I have for you. I haven't figured out what I want to wear with the denim corset, so stay tuned for that. You're just going to have to follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be posting all these outfits. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Let me know in the comments which outfit is your favorite, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will be vlogging the entire trip while I'm in New York City, so make sure you're subscribed below. If you're also getting ready for a New York vacation soon, I hope this helped you with some of your options. And thank you guys for watching this little video, even though I literally look like a can of busted biscuits. Appreciate you guys. Love you.